I'm ready to paint watercolor. I have my watercolor palette. I have a fluffy paintbrush that I don't touch with my fingers because the oil from my fingers can damage those hairs on my bristle. And I have a bottle of water. This bottle of water is for each person to have their own. When we have a bottle of water, it will mean that we are ready to paint. When we're walking in the art room though with our bottle of water, we make sure the cap is always on. We never ever open it, leave it open and then walk. Because if we spill, then all of this water will spill too. So before we leave the table, we always put the cap on. And it will mean that we will not have any lost caps at the end of class. Everybody gets their own bottle of water, their own paint tray, and their own brush. And a paper towel may be shared over several people because the paper towel is to check to make sure you have your paintbrush clean before changing colors. Now to start watercolor, you actually need to put water on your colors. Choose three or four colors to start and squeeze droplets of water into the color. So dip in the water and squeeze out. Dip in the water and squeeze out. Dip in the water and squeeze out. Just like temper cakes, watercolors are dry to start with and only wake up when you rub your brush gently on the color. Today, we're going to work with three or four colors and we are only going to start with the lightest color. In the case of my chosen colors, which is my lightest? Did you say yellow? Yellow is my lightest color. If you have different colors that you choose, your lightest color may be something different. But for me, I chose yellow as my lightest color. Now I'm ready to paint my artwork. So I'm going to make sure that I have my artwork and a paint mat. The paint mat helps to keep my table clean and me from getting paint all over the table. I'm going to set this down, make sure we can see it on my camera. There we go. And I'm going to turn my box so we can see the paints that I'm working with. So on our watercolor painting, we're going to work on creating dark and lights with our watercolor paints. Starting with my yellow, I'm going to rub that color with my wet paintbrush to wake up the color. Pat, pat, kitty cat, pat, pat, paint. Pat, pat, kitty cat, let's go paint. When you've rubbed quite a bit, very gently, you're ready to paint. And it's gonna be pretty vibrant because I've rubbed so much. So when I paint this color on my paper, watching my black lines and trying to stay inside my lines that I painted last time, I will get a very nice color. And I can get it pretty dark and vibrant. Now I have a dark yellow space on my painting. I also want to have a light yellow space. How do I get a lighter color? Does anybody know? Uh, the answer is add water. That's right. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take my paintbrush, put a little more water on it, touch my color, and then watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my paintbrush one more time and dip in the water. I'm not swishing to wash out the paint. I'm just getting more water. Now I'm going to paint a different place and I'm going to have a much lighter color. Do you see how that color is much lighter this time? If it's too light, if you had too much water, you may need to get a little more paint and add that to the water that you just painted, but it should be okay. 
Now, if you notice that your brush is drying out, when you start to see some little fingers on your paintbrush, my bristles aren't there yet. But if you notice that your bristles start separating like this, or you're noticing a lot of brushy marks as you're painting, your brush is also too dry and you need to get a little more water to keep the bristles all together. Now I've painted two places yellow. I'm gonna wash out my brush and I'm going to choose my next darkest color. For me, that's going to be orange. So I'm gonna get that nice and bright. Pet, pet, kitty cat, pet, pet, paint. Pet, pet, kitty cat, let's go paint. And I'm going to paint a dark orange part And I'm going to dip in the water and make a light orange part. And I'm going to do that for each of the colors that I chose. Wash out, new color. First, wake it up. When you're happy with what you painted, wash out your brush one more time, put it back on your tray, put the lid on your bottle, and go put it back on the cart and bring your painting to the drying rack.